Yeah, you can see the peas coming in. Here's one. Here's another one here. Uh, they're actually, I mean, here's another one here. They're really all over the place. Oh, so, spring is here. Okay, guys, so I wanted to give you an update on what we've been working on here. And as you can eh, maybe see or hear, uh, the system is now cycling. And uh, it was a lot of work. We finally got it finished. We finally got everything set. And it's uh, so far so good. It's working out really well. Everything's running correctly. Uh, we still have a, a couple of tweaks to make, uh, but nothing, uh, nothing too serious. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of break this down, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so my battery's going dead, so I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, but as you can see, here are are the two totes. Uh, you can see the water level, and these are just some uh, some mesh tops we put, or uh, canvas tops we put on top, just to um, just to keep the pollen from the trees and stuff out of the out of the system because it, it was kind of a uh, it was causing a problem turning the water yellow and just disgusting, but uh, here's a line uh, with a check valve runs from the pump uh, When the, the when the level in the sump tank gets too high pump clicks on pu pushes the water through this line and Into a bulkhead adapter that's connected to the pump uh, and then on this side Just kind of the opposite uh, This is the recirc valve and the pump taking the water out of the out of the connected uh, fish tanks over up uh, and to the actual system itself okay here's the back side of the tanks and he's, as you can see we have the two tanks connected uh, through this line uh, with a drain on it and it allows us to empty the drain works really well and I just wanted to show, show you guys that so the water enters the system and as you can see the valve is almost turned off because we just want a little bit of water coming in this way. We want most of the water coming in this way, but it reaches this downspout here uh, over to this downspout. So the, these two are, or th those two spouts are, are filling up this bed. The water moves along here to our downspout, uh, drops down to our floating raft. I'll come back to that. Around here, down to this downspout, which does most of the most of the fill for uh, the, the largest bed, and then it, uh, and then it uh, breaks up into these six strawberry towers. And uh, they're all running. Some running, uh, some the, the flow on them is running a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit more than other towers. Uh, like this one is probably running more than this one. Uh, but that's just adjustments we need to make uh, make on the tilt of the of the T. So it's no big deal. But um, we got the lips on there. Some of them aren't straight, but it doesn't really matter because you know whatever. Okay, uh, this is the external bell siphon. As you can see, it's uh, pretty pretty long, but down here is really the, the workings of the system. Uh, the, the two side pieces you see coming out are actually connected to two drains, uh, two drains per bed, and then a master drain that goes back to our sump tank right here. So that goes down there. Uh, same thing for this one. Uh, it's a, it's almost you know it is it's the, it's the exact same bell siphon. So uh, down there, those are just. Uh, those are just um, door or not or lids, uh, caps, whatever you want to call them, that, that cover the bottom of the strawberry uh, cleanouts. Um, just something we cut up real quick, but you can see that the uh, this bed is empty. You can't really see because this is a uh, four inch um, four inch bell uh, with six inch pipe, uh, and we're using one and a half or one and a quarter inch standpipe uh, that reduces down to a one inch uh, drain, so the bell siphon start up really quick. Okay, so the downspout and uh, going to our uh, our floating raft. As you can see, we have the styrofoam down. We haven't drilled any of the holes in for the baskets, but as you can see, we have a staggered pattern. Uh, I, I was just kind of laying them out, seeing how uh, just to see how they were going to they were going to work. And we got about 20 of them, and we still have the rest of this to do. But uh, as you can see down here, uh, the water is draining, um, and it's keeping a constant height. And this is just kind of. You know, floating. It's floating. Oh, I just got wet. But anyway, let's see if I can get there. Okay, so uh, this is the the filter uh, that we were or that I was talking about in my last video. And as you can see, uh, we've we've got the the Matala, uh inserts going. So the water comes down, has to travel in between these filter pads that are kind of just put in, and uh, we'll eventually add an aerator to uh, aerate in between all of the Matala, but uh, that's that. 
Okay, and as you can see, kind of uh, going across the back of the whole greenhouse, you can see this netting, this nylon trellis that we put up, and it's just stapled and, uh, to the to the post, to the back of the grow beds, and then uh, held up with, with uh, um, zip ties. So, uh, so yeah, we are uh, we are ready to go. So, uh, on the strawberry towers, the only thing we have left to do is we need to put a bead of uh, silicone on some of the uh, lips because some of the lips are leaking. Not a big deal. It'll take uh, take 20 minutes to do. Uh, they come out really easy. So, and uh, other other than that, we are actually ready to go ahead and start cycling the system. So, uh, it's it's cycling right now, as you can probably hear. But uh, I don't know. Probably this Friday, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll make it official. Um, put some seaweed extract into the tanks and start planting some uh, some plants in these beds. But uh, yeah, right now it's everything is running great. So. Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you guys a update on what we've been working on. Uh, the aquaponics greenhouse is now cycling, finally, and yeah, uh, I will keep you updated on the progress. Uh, like I said, we're going to be putting some plants in uh, probably this weekend, so uh, I just wanted to give you an update on that. Subscribe to the channel, uh, head on over to the Facebook fan page at HD Aquaponics, and uh, yeah, the, uh, the website uh, should be up. Hope, hopefully by the time you guys see this video, hdaquaponics.com. So uh, anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching and I will update you guys again real soon.